Do you want to know the best way to play Zofia in Brutal Swarm Year 7 Season 3? We've come to the right video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Zofia in the most effective way possible. We're going to go over things like her loadout, general in-game tips when I bring you into a custom game, and at the very end of the video, I'm going to bring you into an in-game example. So make sure you stick to the end for that, and with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Zofia's loadout. Zofia has actually a really good loadout. They just nerfed her LMG, but they just buffed her AR, so personally what I would do is run the AR and not the LMG anymore. With that being said, her recoil is a lot better. I currently run Vertical Grip and Flash Hider, and this still this much recoil so a little hard to control but there's not much x recoil you just pull down and that's pretty much that she has the 1.5 and the 2x though so a pretty good variety of scopes and it's just a lot easier to control than the lmg is now after they've nerfed the recoil but if you still are pretty good at controlling the lmg then i definitely recommend you use that over the ar as it does have 150 rounds with that being said she has a pretty nice secondary she has a very good scope on the secondary which is what makes it as good as it is personally i would run muzzle break and laser on it with that being said muzzle break you should always have on your secondary guns I don't care if there's no recoil and you want to run suppressor, just run muzzle break. The reason I'm saying this is because the only reason you'd use your secondary is if your primary gun's out of ammo, right? And if your primary gun's out of ammo, that means you've been shooting a lot and they already know where you are. So a suppressor hiding your location isn't going to do much if you've already unloaded your primary weapon and they already know where you are, right? <laughs> so in my opinion, I would never run silencers on your secondary guns unless you're playing somebody like Smoke where your secondary is your primary gun in a sense. So muzzle break on the secondary and then I run vertical grip and flash hider with the 1.5 like I said earlier on her AR. So that is kind of the base kit that I run. With that being said, she has the opportunity between Claymore and Breach Charge. It kind of just depends. It's one of those secondary gadgets that you can kind of pick either or and be okay with. And then she has her primary gadget, the KS-79 Lifeline, which has two impact grenades and two stun grenades. So just imagine, you know, two impact grenades on defense and two elements all on one gadget. Pretty versatile, pretty useful. And I'm actually going to bring you into a custom game and show you all of the little tips and tricks that I know with that so that you better know how to play Zofia going into ranked. All right, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is how do you play Zofia with coordination with your team? So Zofia is an entry player at heart. She is meant to get entry frags and use her utility to help get her those frags or help her teammates get those frags. So one thing that's really cool about Zofia is her gun is really, really good. It has really good damage, really good fire rate. And like I said, not too hard of recoil to control. So if you are really good aim wise, this is a great gun to use. But because of the amount of utility that she brings, she can back up her gun skill and her fragger capabilities with utility if need be. So a great example is let's say that I'm pushing from con into cash and the bomb is inside of CC and cash, right? So I've just hopped in the window. I've come from master whatever, and I'm in here. Something that you'll see commonly is a rotate right here. You'll see headles right here. You'll see maybe a shield here, maybe an Azami here, or just a player like hard right of here. Like there's a lot of things that you kind of have to contest. And what you'll see a lot of times is your support players, your hard reachers will go through here with the wall, obviously. And then your flex players will clear rafters like your capital, your grenades. They'll come through rafters and they'll come through the window. So that kind of leaves your fraggers to either go up red stairs or go through con. Either one is viable, but this is just a little easier to do and a little safer to do. So that being said, as an entry fragger, your first objective is to obviously get entry frags and get into the building, whether it be by yourself or with your teammates. So like I say for my life, lion guide, my dokebi guide, my jackal guide, those are roam clears, right? But the same rule applies where you want to be droning out the initial rooms that you're going to hop into and then hop into those rooms once you do that. So what I mean by that is let's say I want to push master all the way into con. The first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that all of the adjacent rooms are clear before I go in. And because you are an entry frag and you're playing by yourself because it's a solo queue ranked, you're gonna be droning yourself in a lot of times. So, you know, I come in, I drone in here, I drone the hallway, I drone master, I drone lodgy, I drone main stairs, I drone con. And then what you can do if you have claymores, you put a claymore there or you put a flank drone there and you take con control. And on the way, usually you'd wanna get an entry frag because you might have somebody lurking deep in here, or if not, then you don't. But if you have somebody lurking deep within the site or deep within the map in general, that's typically where you want to push and use your utility. Because like I said, you're not really a support player, so it doesn't really matter like where you are and where you're pushing and where you're using your utility. You want to be getting entry frags and helping your team take space. So wherever the defenders are roaming or lurking is where you're primarily going to want to go. But I'm just showing you this because this is a really common push. Like I said, first tip, you drone in, you clear all the space that you have, you come into here. Okay, now let's say you have con control and you're right next to the site. You've got an entry frags, perfect scenario, no one's flanking, right? So like I said, there's a lot of things that can happen here. The first thing that you want to do is get out your stunts and not your impacts. And the reason that I say this is because the reason you'd use your impacts is to destroy bulletproof utility. But in order to destroy bulletproof utility, like shields, bulletproof cameras, Malusis, stuff like that, you need to burn the ADSs and the Jaegers that are in here. Or, you know, Aruni gates, whatever. Now 
you switch to your impacts and then you get the shield you get the azami you get the malusi trap whatever so that's typically how you want to be entering the site is you use your stuns to burn and then you use your impact to get the bullet for utility if you know there isn't any utility what you can do is you can actually impact first let's say you impact the azami or the shield and then you get your stuns out and then stun the enemy come in and refrag your stuns that's just a very basic tip on what her abilities do and how to use it and now i'm going to bring you into some advanced tips okay so let's say that you're pushing basement through blue and through generator right and you're trying to get a frag on the person behind here typically a smoke player or something like that something that you can do is if you want to know if they're there let's say you don't have a drone or you don't have any info if you stun somewhere and it immediately goes off then you know someone's there but if you shoot a stun and it lingers for a bit like that and then it explodes, then you know nobody's actually there. So that's a really good way to clear out objectives. And if somebody is there, then you stunned and they're stunned and you can go in and get a free kill. So that's my first advanced tip with Sophia is use your stuns for information. Another advanced tip with Sophia involves her stuns again, but let's say that somebody's bandit tricking this wall and you want them to stop bandit tricking in the middle of them placing their bandit down. You can do that with a Sophia stun. So let's say I'm outside the CC window, right? I'm applying pressure with my gun here. And then I know there's a bandit tricker and our teammates trying to get the wall. Once the thermite places this thing on the wall and I know the bandit is about to trick the wall i can shoot in a stun and it stops his animation from actually putting the bandit down giving you a free wall that's something that's pretty underutilized is you actually stop defender animations with this stun another great example is if they're diffusing let's say that you've planted here you're the last one alive and you're outside the wall and he's diffusing right you don't want to peek you don't want to get in a gunfight with him because you're trying to waste as much time as possible and make him come to you another pretty advanced tip there what you can do is you can actually just stun the guy and while he's diffusing it stuns him off the diffuser and he has to restart but that's pretty much it for the tips and tricks sections with the custom game i've shown you everything that i wanted to show you in terms of how to use your utility and now i'm going to bring you into a vod review where i'm going to show you how i play zofia in ranked so that you better know how to play zofia in ranked for yourself you located a bomb make your way to its location and so because I'm an entry fragger and I'm trying to take space, I already have a plan in mind, and my plan was to go in Sunrise. And like I said, you drone yourself in initially, because you're a fragger, you initially drone yourself in a lot, so I'm droning. We have another guy with me, so I'm planning to just kind of bait him and refrag him. We take Sunrise extremely fast, he's nading below. I think he gets a kill here. Yeah, he gets a kill here. Fucking sweet. So, I hold cool vibes, because I think they're going to try to refrag it. They do, and I kill him. So now I'm just stunning. Now I stun here, like I said, because I want to see if anybody's there so I can walk up the stairs because we kind of have some teammates getting jiggy on the hookah door and I think they're about to walk in. So I'm doing this more for info. And if he is stunned, then I think he's probably looking at these guys anyways. So I'm going to come upstairs, get a free kill here. And then I think I'm also going to stun hookah bar. I'm not sure if I do that here. Um, just to see if anybody's there so I can call out to my teammates or get a frag there. And uh, that's essentially why I'm doing stuns here. So I stun both sides. It doesn't stun anybody, so I know no one's there. That mirror's broken, I get a free kill. And it's just a fast paced round, right? My yeah, entry wait, frag got a lot, but so did Ariana's entry frag. I get a call that one's below. And I get the kill. So I'm gonna break that down a little bit for you. So essentially, like like I said, I droned in. I took space really fast. I used my stuns for info, and then our teammates and I played off of that info, took space extremely well. Now those two stuns, we took space off of extremely well because we used the info that nobody was there due to the stun not being instantaneous, and we took space because of that. And I also got a call that one was aqua, so you know I destroyed the Lucy here, destroyed the Lucy over there, and it was just a really good example of entry frags and stuns, kind of saving the round, right? The stuns for the info the entry frags just for taking space that was a perfect Zofia round did i do all of the work no did i make some mistakes yeah i got the entry frag i took space i drove myself in i used my stunts for info and that's pretty much all of the points i talked about in the custom game right covered in one single video if you want to get better at the game of mystic siege i am definitely the channel to sub to i post every monday wednesday and friday i post tier list every wednesday operator guides every monday and wildcard videos every friday so if you want to get better at the game of siege i am definitely the channel to sub to don't forget to like the video if you liked it it would help me out a lot my name is alka and i will see you in the next one.